Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you. Hope you all are doing well. So this is part four of the scope application where we are learning how to build a ticket booking application. And so far we have learned how to create a transporter record and how to install the seat and how to valid validate the booking information and how to arrange the station. So today we have these three use cases that is uh, that are eight two fields in the transporter table that is arrived at and departed from and that should refer to the station table record eight status field in the station table and eight two different choice arrived and departed let's see here so in the table first transporter I have added two different fill that are arrived at and departed from and both are read only means we can only update from the back end not from the front end and it will be updated through the changes of the uh, station record status so in the station table, I've created one field called status, which have uh, these two choices arrived and departed. So the ten use case line number ten could see when status changes on the station records that is arrived, departed or not. Based on that, the parent transported record arrived at and the departed from should be updated. And departure time and arrival time should also be updated in the station record. Means, uh, see, we we will start our traveling from station 1 and right now the order starting from station 4 and going to 1 so here I have already opened the station 4 record and if I will change this to arrived okay. and once the status changes to arrived then the arriving time will be captured into this arriving time field and this is basically a time type see, right time ok and not only that, it will update the parent record transporter which has this field arrived at and it is basically saying that we have arrived at station 4 okay. and if I will update this station to departed and based on the status changes departure time will be updated and the parent record departure from field will also be updated so let's save it and you could see here uh, departure time will uh, departure time have updated and the departure from field of the bus transport have also updated okay so now we have to jump to the station 2 right because uh, from the station 4 uh, we have to jump to the station 5 this because from the station 4 we have leave our transporter so close it and let's go to this use case 
once the transporter reach the destination then station order should be reversed and the arrival time and the departure time of the station record should be updated to mt value means uh, c i'll open this station 2 and uh let's uh, directly open the last okay last station if i am saying that okay we have arrived to the last destination if okay, i'll say what it will do will rearrange the order of the station because we have arrived to our destination uh, which was 1 means we we are at station we are at destination station means we have to travel back okay that's why the station order has been rearranged means uh again if i will arrive to the station 4 then the station 4 become 1 2 3 4 5 that's how it will update you got and now it is saying that arriving time okay So let's see how I have achieved. So we could see once the when status update means the record of the station table uh, will update, and if the status changes, okay, and. Uh, is executing after update okay this business rule is executing after update okay sorry 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 it's executing after update and here i'm checking that uh, again as previous we have to grab the cid of the parent so that we could uh, make a transition so we have grab the trans uh, parent cid to the transporter field the line number 6 if uh, this value of status field will change and if status equal to equal to 1 means departure departed then it will update uh, this field depart search time and uh, if it will be arrived then it will update this field so you could see status equal to equal to 1 and the field departure time set display value and the current time uh, See, it will uh, return both date and time uh, because this is the flight time type. That's why it will only hold the time, not the date. And if the status will be non. Then it will set display value to empty. Means uh, if status will be none, then both will be empty. Departure time and arriving time will be empty. Good see. After that. Have to upload the transporter, and here I am using 
error function function yes six version JavaScript but C is same as a function only the changes uh, you could see here that the keyword function is not available here right uh, it is also same as the anonymous function but uh, the keyword function is not available here there are a lot of difference but uh, to understand as of now just consider that uh, it is same as anonymous function the keyword function is not available here and here we have to pass the status okay uh, as an argument so let's remove this okay and have to update the transporter so we have captured already the CCID of the transporter record to this variable and which is constant hence we can't change that variable value again so we are doing the glide record uh, for this table transporter and to the SysID for FHE and if you get the record then if the status equal to equal to 1 and we have to set the departure from field of the transporter record by the station uh, record means uh, this both fields are referring to the station table records that's why Here I am initializing with the sys id of the current record. Same here. Arrived at. Okay, the status equal to equal to 2 means the backend value 2 here is the value of this arrived. Okay, so so I if uh, this station one will be arrived means uh, the transporter will arrive at this station then based on this the transporter record will update or this departed from field okay and if both condition will not match then it will store the blank value departed from and arrived at nice so that is for this function definitions and and uh please uh, notice that here i am saying don't uh, run the business again because uh, you could see this is running after update so if, it, if I will again run the business rule it will cause the problem and your process will execute and go recursively so to avoid that I have written this line current that set work loop false so that is for this business rule. So let's see the next. That is once the transporter reached the destination. Means uh, if two and arrive at field will be same, then we have to rearrange the station order. Okay, so it depends so on it so yeah i'm taking the value and this business rule is written this piece i have written for the first transporter records so you could see the table which i have selected is points transporter So the line number 11, check here. 
So line number 13 you see first uh, i am trying to access the total stations associated with the transporter so this function get total state station could say line number 45 so the definition here is that to get the total number of uh, records of uh, total number of state uh, station records which is referring to current transporter that's it you could see the guide record the table station and the current that is id the two string means the current is id the transporter record it will return uh, maybe it will return the five but we have to increment uh, by adding plus one why i will show you plus one by one uh, to subtract okay one by let's suppose if i will subtract this uh, order five by six minus five okay then we will get the value one six minus four two six minus three three that's why i am adding the number one okay so it will return the total stations plus one so here according to the use case once the transporter reaches the destination then station order should be reversed and the arrival time and departure time of the station records should be empty okay should be updated to empty values or not the all but uh like uh, except uh, the station where transporter has arrived all the arrived in time and departure time should be updated to empty okay so for that uh, this flight record you could see on the station table the same here transporter and current that is id the two string means the current record of the transporter and here i'm trying to access the record in descending order so that only i can subtract by the total stations plus one number so one by one i will get the record and total here you could see the calculation i made total stations minus two station dot stations order dot two string so one by one the i will update the order and here again i am not uh, running the business loop for that i written this line station dot set walk no pulse and you could see departure time set display value empty arrival time set display value empty the status none i have to set and station dot update okay then after uh this operations i am adding the sys id into this station here why because again i have to update the transporter record from end to field once the transporter reach the destination okay so for that you could see the first and the last stations okay after update we store into this uh, array and current that tested value from first and to last and current that arrived at set display value to empty display this Added here, I'm setting it to empty and 
I'm not running the business school and then I'm dating. So that's all for this three use cases. Hope you got uh, clearly. So we are almost at the end of our platform features. Uh, so we'll change the technology like uh, maybe we have to switch to the approvals for this booking information. So we will see after uh, this session. After this session. So let's meet on let's meet in our in our next video session. So friend, thank you for watching.